Guys, I leave for Disneyland in less than 24 hours. This video has not yet been edited. It's about, I'm out of breath. Um, I need to work, I just went down the stairs, but it is four o'clock right now. I leave for Disneyland in about a little more than 12 hours. So hopefully you're seeing this video on Friday, September, <laughs> adding is hard, 16th, um, but otherwise, Mickey Mouse sends his regards. I like to call this little like half ponytail hairstyle. Uh, Rachel is now uploading twice a week and no longer has time to curl her hair. Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making these awesome rainbow cupcakes. I usually don't describe my desserts as awesome. Normally I go for cute or adorable, but these are seriously I was gonna say seriously awesome, but something about that just felt like very throwback to middle school for me. We're not gonna go back to that time. But anyways, these are so cool, you guys, and they look even better when you look at them straight on like this. See that? Right? That is so cool. And I'll be showing you guys a little kind of hack, and I normally don't do like hack videos on my channel because I feel like a hack is basically like, here's a cool way to do something. But this is seriously a definition hack, I feel like. I mean, not definition, but internet definition hack because you use plastic wrap, and I'll show you guys how you can use that to make a perfect rainbow swirl. It is so cool. It's inspired by a video that I saw on Instagram. I think it's going viral now, but it is originally from the domestic housewife I believe I'll put her Instagram handle right over here so I saw that video on Instagram and I thought that is so cool I wonder if it actually works so I tested it out today for you guys and it totally works but we are not just gonna stop there because I will also show you guys my favorite recipe for fun funny cupcakes these are so perfect for frosting because they get all perfectly domed on top and they taste amazing too and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do so because I post two new videos every week and without further ado let's get started First off, in a large bowl, you'll want one stick of softened butter. And just mix that until it gets smooth and creamy. Once it's nice and smooth, you want to go ahead and add in a cup of sugar. And just mix that till it gets nice and light and fluffy. That looks perfect. Now you're going to add in two room temperature eggs. And just continue mixing. Mix, mix, mix. That looks good. Now we're going to add in a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract. Today we're using clear vanilla extract because it has kind of a more kind of like cake mix funfetti flavor, I guess, which is really nostalgic to a lot of people and I kind of like it too, so just mix that in. Now set that aside and in a separate bowl, let's work on the dry ingredients. You want one and a half cups of flour along with one and three quarters teaspoons of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. And then just whisk that all together. Set that aside and grab your wet ingredients again. Now add in half of the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and just mix that through. You can always switch to a spatula if you're scared of over mixing the batter. As you can see, I got a little scared. <laughs> now add in a half cup of milk. Make sure it's kind of like warm room temperature. You can always zap it in the microwave and then just mix that up. Now add in the rest of the dry ingredients and just keep mixing. Once that's all nice and combined, you're gonna add in a quarter cup of rainbow sprinkles. Aren't these beautiful? I love how these look. The nice thing about the jimmies is that they don't bleed, so the colors stay true. Not like the non pearl sprinkles, which tend to bleed and it turns your batter kind of brownish, so don't use those. That looks awesome. Now we're just gonna fill up our cupcake pan. You can see I got pretty fast at this, but no pressure. You don't have to be as fast as me. Don't even worry about it. Now bake this off at 350 for 20 to 23 minutes. And did I promise you guys perfect cupcakes or what? These guys look gorgeous. You can see they're perfectly domed and golden brown. Just let those cool completely before you frost them now. Looks almost like fruity pebbles. And now let's get to our frosting. You're gonna need frosting in all of these different colors, all the colors of the rainbow, of course. I'll have my frosting recipe linked in the description box below and you'll wanna color about half cup for each color. And now I've got kind of a double hack for you guys. In the video, she colors all the frosting in the same bowl. And I thought, really? You can color it all in the same bowl without, you know, cleaning it or washing it out or something? And you definitely can. This is so cool. It saves you so many dishes, honestly. And it's just a really great way to color your frosting. Only thing you want to keep in mind, though, is to color this ideally in a glass bowl. If you use a plastic bowl or a ceramic bowl or something, you might stain the bowl and then someone's going to be mad at you. So just use a glass bowl. You can see these turn out so beautiful. The yellow gives it kind of a chartreuse tint to it. And the greenish blue is gorgeous. This is my favorite color. And some purple too, also very pretty. 
Now here's the cool part. You're gonna grab some saran wrap, just a little rectangle or a square of it, or any kind of geometric quadrilateral, and then you're just gonna start piping out your frostings. You want to make sure you pipe these right next to each other, and you can also see that I'm starting from the center and working outwards, just to make sure I know where the center is. So add on all of your colors, looking beautiful. And now you're just going to wrap this up. You can see I'm just folding in the kind of edges now. On the end of the purple, you don't want any overhang, you can see I'm just going to fold it back. And then instead of kind of rolling it, think of more like folding the two ends together, just making sure that you're not creating a big air pocket in the center. Ideally, your ends are a little bit longer than this, because you want to kind of be able to twirl it like a jump rope and just kind of seal up your little bundle there. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, it's just kind of more fun to do. But anyways, though, this worked out too. Now you can see I have a large pastry bag fitted with a large round tip. I'm just going to snip off the end of my little, little rainbow bundle. Then pop this into your piping bag. You can see you're gonna have kind of more like a rainbow pen than a rainbow piping bag, but it totally works out though, just takes a little bit of getting used to. And you're all good to go, that's all there is to it. Isn't this so cool? Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at that. I mean, does that not just blow your mind? This looks so beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Like, just all the good adjectives, I don't know. Anyways though, now you can see I just added on some gold sprinkles, but I later decided that I like the white sprinkles more. And almost as impressive as the cupcake itself, just look at this piping tip. Oh my goodness, isn't that crazy? It's like a perfect divide of colors there. It's like I've never seen a color wheel before. <laughs> Anyways though, now you're just gonna keep piping on the frosting on your cupcakes. And you can see that white sprinkle really pops on the rainbow frosting, it looks so cool. And I just love watching these sped up clips. Like, I can barely voice this over because I just keep getting distracted. Anyways though, now you can see I've done the same thing with a star tip. Totally same deal, just snip off the tip of your plastic wrap. Then load this into the piping bag. It's a little bit tricky to load in because the plastic wrap tends to, you know, stick to things, but you can make it work. Alright, that's looking good, it's all ready to go. And now for the big moment, you can see this one looks beautiful as well. And of course you've got to add on some more white sprinkles. That looks beautiful, let's watch another one. I just love watching these, that's why I'm just including all these clips. That looks good too. And then I switched back to a regular round tip for the final cupcakes. This tip was a little bit larger, doesn't really make a difference though. My last tip for you guys is to not make your frosting strips too long. As you can see, this last batch of frosting got a little bit long, so it makes it harder to pipe. But other than that though, this is really easy to do. Oh, let's watch one more. I just love watching these. Oh wow, look at that. Is it sad that I like watching my own videos? But anyways though, these look so cool and that's all there is to it. Alright guys, our rainbow cupcakes are finished now, and these are so gorgeous. I mean like, is there even anything else to say about these? They're just like a piece of art. I mean, look at this. Does that not hypnotize you? Because that, that like hypnotizes me. You'd figure that'd be hypnotized by cupcakes. But anyways though, I really hope you guys give these a try because the technique is really cool, very simple too, and you know how to make it now because you saw the video. Anyways though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you decide to make these cupcakes, make sure you share a picture with me on social media with the hashtag Kawaii Sweet World. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe right up there because I post two new videos every week. You can also follow me on social media at Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Man, I was getting so good at like listing off my social media. I broke the streak. Anyways though, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. There we go. At Kawaii Sweet Eats. You can also check out my website at kawaiisweetworld.com for the full recipe. And I think that's about it. I will talk to you guys all very soon down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. You know how I said I leave for LA in less than 12 hours? I'm not realizing that means I have less than 12 hours to eat a dozen cupcakes. That sounds like a challenge video, does it? Like 12 cupcakes in 12 hours? I would do that, actually. Nope. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. You probably get sick. Good thing for Rational Rachel, keeping me in check. Also alive. I don't even want to eat these because they're so beautiful. Which one do you guys like more? Do you like the plain round one or do you like the swirly kind of ruffled one? I personally like these swirly ones because I feel like you can see the rainbow really well. But these ones are also really pretty. I mean, anything rainbow color is going to be really pretty, so... Pick your, not your poison, pick your cupcake, I guess. See you next time. <laughs>